This is Dog Rescue TV. Come, sit, subscribe, and stay a while. Hi there. Hi there. Any luck? No what? No puppy? What? She's no peeps. No puppy. It's beautiful. I don't know where she is. Where is this dog? Where does she go? I went everywhere. I even poked my head into the attic. In the kitchen. Girl, I got spam and oh. beer sauce. Oh. Oh. You guys is this house? my first rodeo. <laughs> well, obviously it is, because you should have caught it by now. <laughs> okay. Shit. I caught fucking three others, so kiss my hand. Yeah, but <laughs> not the one you were supposed oh, okay. to. Okay. It needs to be really quiet for her to go in, and I think nighttime is our best bet. So I'm going to start disguising the trip. Scared. There's an ingenious uh, setup that that Lori had put together last night, covering the cage and putting some towel down. I think the towel was uh, Deanna's idea. What they did is they brought a bunch of branches and everything, put it over to make it like a little cave, and then to make that more comfortable, they put down that blanket. And yeah, so here she is. Well, you got her, huh? She was really scared just a moment ago, but she seems pretty good right now. Hi. They finally got you, didn't they? Would you like a sniff? Hey, baby. Hey, Ed. Hey, baby. She kind of knows you. She's just so scared, though. Finally got her, huh? Yeah. She been eating, though. You can tell that, huh? Yeah. How we doing? Good. Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Can you say hello? Huh? Yeah. 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 Hi. Can I just touch you? Oh. We're going to go up to the farm now. Uh, I'm going to put her in the um, apartment so she can decompress, get her out of the cage. Mm. She threw up and she had poop without the mat. Yeah. So you know. She's let me touch her, touch her, so that's good. It's okay. Can we try to get her some water? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't come. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're all right. Hi. Hi. All right, I'm gonna try to pull her out a little bit. Okay. Come on, sweetheart. <coughs> Pull you out a little bit. We're gonna get you inside where it's nice and cool. All right, come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. 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 I'm going to hang out with her for a little while just to, you know, get her to relax a little bit. Um, and then my goal is in a little while we're going to give her a bath. Um, she desperately needs one. Um, and then I'm just going to kind of evaluate 
and see her temperament and my goal is is that you know we will soon find a foster care for her because I think she should go to a home um, and just someone who's going to just take it slow with her because I'm sure everything here is so so new. This dog will easily find a forever home. Hi. Hi. Are you Annette? Yes. Hi Annette. You. Waiting on me to come up here. Why didn't come up here? Thank God you was out. So I had him on my porch and he was sitting there and all of a sudden I heard, Rrr. I was like, oh my God, he's barking at people. <laughs> so Giving him the business. I, I, I told him, come on, baby, come on. He walked him on over here. Cause I wanted him to walk around a little bit, you know, take him in the back with my dog. Like, feeling, but he wanted a human around him as well. That's right. Cause, yeah, because he'll sit there on my porch and sit there and I'll open up the door. And then he'll walk down, use the bathroom, then walk back up on the porch. Hi, man. Look at you. Hey, look at that baby eating. That baby eating. Look at that baby. <laughs> Yo, you growling at him? Yeah. Uh, my name is Annette Black. Hi. Hi. How are you? Great. Now I gave him some fries at first. What's the matter, man? Come here. Come All here, right. baby. Give me a big you boy. Hi, pretty boy. Give me, you want some more? Want some more chicken? And it was like at first he wasn't growling at people, but now he's growling. Like how he did with you, a stranger. Hi, baby. Yeah, I don't blame him. And I guess he's trying to protect me. Yeah, you keep the air on, you're fine. I got a lot of people I know in the neighborhood. Okay. My postal friend is here too, and that's all just right amongst them. Where is the little buddy? Oh, great. Yvette is now creating favorites and making people choose. That's brilliant. <laughs> How are these steps? Ooh. So. Hi, bud. Gives me a little growly sometimes Hi, bud. when. Uh, you see him yet? He's a real little growly, but not like real growly, you know. Yeah, I just don't know if I want to use a catch pole or if he's gonna go crazy once I put this on his neck. Yeah, that's a lot. So people are like, "Oh my God, you guys are supposed to be experts. You know that." <laughs> and and yet every single dog is different. They sure. actually don't speak our language, and we don't speak their language. Sure. And you just never know, do you? you never know. You never know. I'll walk first. Come on, buddy. Okay. Come on. That's okay. Come on. Come on. I'll, I'll stay in this corner. Come on. Okay. Okay. I'll move the board out. 
I'm gonna move your board. certainly knows what to do. Yeah. I could get this way then. But he could turn around a little bit. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. There's our pal Troy. He's stuck. I think he just really, really wanted to be in a regular place again, I'll bet. He was just scared. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi. Normally we use Wilson's, but today we're at All About Animals with two of the dogs we picked up um, two weeks ago, I guess, here. And uh, this is one of them. We named um, this little fella, what did we name you? Troy. This is Troy. He's about a year old. He unfortunately has sarcoptic mange, which is contagious, and he has heartworm. He knows he's safe. They know when they're safe. How can people uh, help the, the dog house? Oh, donate, donate, donate. We can't help them without funds. As you know, this dog's going to be a $1,000 dog just for basic care. So we would appreciate any help financially, um, whether food donations, financial donations, donations directly to the vet, um, or fostering. Open your house to foster an animal. If we don't have room, we can't take them in. This poor guy had to sit on the porch for five days until we could find somebody to take them. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. It helps us reach more dog lovers.